Begin stirring 2,000 milliliters of distilled water on the stir plates. Weigh out 60 grams of peptone and 30 grams of yeast. Carefully add to the flask. Be cautious, peptone absorbs water and can become sticky on surface. Rinse down the side of the flask by adding another 500 milliliters of distilled water. Stir until the solution is no longer cloudy, which will take several minutes. Calibrate pH meter and then hang pH probe into flask so that the bulb on the end is just under the solution surface. Adjust the pH of the solution to 4.5 as read by the pH meter by adding 10% sulfuric acid dropwise with a plastic transfer pipette while stirring. Remove the head plate by loosening the screws and empty the flask of medium solution into the fermenter. Add two drops of antifoam. Using a one liter flask, prepare optical density blank solution by adding six grams of peptone and three grams of yeast extract to 300 milliliters of distilled water. Stir until dissolved. Label and cover flask with an aluminum foil. Using another one liter flask, slowly add 50 grams glucose into 200 milliliters of distilled water while stirring. Heat the solution on the hot plate to dissolve completely. Dilute glucose solution to 450 milliliters with distilled water and pour into 500 milliliter addition bottle. Apply a thin layer of lubricant around the top surface of the glass vessel. Set head plate in place and secure metal rings using four bolts. Tighten bolts evenly. Cover all beakers with foil along with an empty 125 milliliter beaker. Remove probe from four molar potassium chloride storage bottle and rinse with distilled water. Connect probe to PCU with cable. On PCU, select calibrate button and then pH probe. Immerse the pH probe in seven buffer and allow raw input signal to stabilize. Enter the value seven in box below set zero button and press enter. Press set zero button to accept value. Keep the pH calibration probe process for a set span using a four buffer solution. Insert dissolved oxygen probe into the fermenter. Insert the pH probe into the fermenter. Cover probe tops with shortening caps to prevent steam damage. Place black rubber bearing cover on top of bearing housing to prevent steam damage. Clamp off the air sparger tube. Clamp off all tubes that have penetrations which go below the internal liquid level to prevent boiling over during autoclaving. Remove the resistance temperature detector from the thermowell. Make sure all solutions are covered with aluminum foil. Mark with indicator tape and labeled, and that the sugar addition bottle is clamped. Loosen glass sample bottle on sterile sampler about one half turn. Get autoclave cart. Set fermenter vessel upright on cart and all other solutions in plastic autoclave pans. Move the fermenter and solutions into the autoclave in the BRL using the cart. Open the autoclave doors by cranking the wheel all the way clockwise. Load the autoclave cart into the autoclave. Close the autoclave doors by cranking the wheel all the way counterclockwise. On the touchscreen, turn on jacket power. Press select cycle and enter 444 as the user ID. Select autoclave cycle for 45 minutes at 121 degrees Celsius. Autoclave will start automatically and the cycle will take about one hour. After autoclaving, carefully remove vessel and solutions from autoclave using heat resistance glove and set up in lab. 